have you guys ever wanted to play all of the retro games with just one app? Games from systems such as Nintendo 64, SNES, PS1, and more. Well, this video might be the one for you, as I am introducing you guys to an app called Launchbox. It is a very popular app where you could store all of your games into one place but it is also capable of running emulated games. So today I'll be showing you guys how to set up Launchbox and um, run Nintendo 64 games on it. So now we are in the Launchbox website. All you guys need to do is type in launchbox-app.com and you guys will get here. From here, just click on download now next to the Windows icon and then type in your email address. After that, just click on download and then there will be a link um, that would be sent into your email. And then from there, you can just click on the link and then launchbox.exe will be installed. Um, and then after that, everything is pretty straightforward. So I will see you guys in the Launchbox launcher, all right? So now we are in Launchbox, so um, this window will pop up and it says um, how you like to populate your collection of games. So, so I assume that you guys already have got the ROM files. If you guys don't, um, there are plenty of websites for the ROMs that you guys want. So if you guys want like Nintendo 64 ROMs, then just search up n64 roms if you guys want ps1 just search up ps1 roms and then etc like yeah stuff like that but uh, i'll be doing it for the nintendo 64 so just import rom files next add folder so um yeah i've already created a folder for the n64 here so um just select folder um, and then click next and then um, choose your platform so if you have a different platform then you need would need to choose a different platform I have Nintendo 64 here so that is my platform and uh, I'll click next uh, retroarch is the emulator yeah retroarch is actually the emulator that um that runs um, the games so yeah, it's like an extension for uh, Launchbox, I'm pretty sure. So, but yeah, just click next. And then um, copy the files into my Launchbox. Oh, okay, so this part, it is completely up to you. So I'll just use the files in the current location. Um, yeah, that's what I would do. And then next. Then make sure all the boxes have been ticked. Um yeah just next and then next and then download bezels um that's up to you I okay let's let's not download it oh, okay so the process could be quicker all right next next um finish all right so it's importing it's saved boom Okay, um, normally, um, for you guys, it would take a lot longer, because, um, because RetroArch needs to be installed, because, because before, um, this video, I've already installed RetroArch, uh, I've already have done this process before, but, um, if you guys didn't have just installed Launchbox, then it would take, like, around 5 to 10 minutes, um, to install, um, uh, RetroArch. But yeah, so um, I'll load up a game and then I'll I'll show you guys um, how it looks. All right, see you guys there. All right, so I'm currently in Mario Kart, so I'm just choosing my rounds here. Luigi Raceway, okay. Ooh, all right. Let's play. Okay, everything's running smoothly. As you guys can see, right here. Yeah. Yeah, it feels like the original console. I believe. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I've actually never played on one of those consoles before. I've actually never seen one in real life. I would like to see um, the experience playing on those consoles though. It's probably the same as this. <laughs> yeah, it probably is. But yeah, everything's running smoothly here. Sure, this like 60 FPS cap. Yeah, it's capped at 60 frames. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, everything's running fine. Um, and yeah. All right. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, press the thumbs up if you guys want to see more videos from me. But um, for now, um, I'll be signing off. So yeah. All right. Bye guys and happy gaming!